Sean first, it is great to see you, my friend. It has been a while. Before we say anything, I want to say condolences to you and your family. I loved your dad. I miss your dad. I keep the picture of him and I but in my bedroom uh, by my uh, bedpost because it was the same picture you used to keep uh, yeah. at the store, the one you gave me. Oh, we greatly appreciate it. And uh, he loved you, and that's why uh, I've first person to call when I'm getting involved with a new business is call Rudy, get him involved because he just does a great job. And like I said before, we had this, we've been going back and forth for the last couple of months, but we finally connected. You just got back from South Africa and I heard you had a great time and we greatly appreciate it. And like we said, my dad had an awesome time when you used to come to the golf tournaments. So the feeling is mutual, Rudy. It, it, you know, it was such a blast. And you know, you and I always got along so well, like family. And what was it like for you, though, because when you took over the original store, what was it like to carry on that legacy? Well, in the beginning, it was a little bit difficult. It was a big learning curve because at the end of the day, I had retired and I came out of going out of retirement to work in the store with my dad. It was his store. It was his, let's say, mistress. It was his baby from 1952. Um, but it was great. And uh, for those 12 years that I was there, we had an awesome time, me and my dad. And then eventually, you know, when my dad passed away, it, it wasn't the same. And so we uh, shut the store, we had a great sale, and it was an end to a great 70-year legacy of men's re retailing in Toronto. It and was then, great. As you said, the phone call, driving over, the big sign, things are continuing. The legacy does not go away. It continues. What is going on? Because we're on Dufferin Street here. And like I said, the legacy continues. So what we decided was once we uh, left Corey's and had that great sale out of Corey's, I decided, look, I couldn't retire again. So I came out of retirement <laughs> and I, they brought me back in. So we've developed this new concept, myself and my partner, Paul. Uh, we have a huge 10,000 square foot space on Dufferin, 3302 Dufferin Street, just uh, south of Yorkdale. And we've managed to uh, gather a huge amount of merchandise, men's, ladies, outerwear, knits. We have a great program, uh, Kinros uh, Cashmere, which is a uh, ladies' uh, cashmere sweaters that have been doing phenomenal. Men's sport jackets, men's sweaters, outerwear, Canada Goose. Uh, Roberto Cavalli, designer uh, purses, just you name it, we're bringing it in. Wherever we find it, we're going to sell it. What do you think it is that makes this, say, different from, say, the original? How is this more your concept? So this was my concept because this is wholesale. Like Corey's high-end retail, you have the, uh, the tailors looking after you, the high service. Obviously, the dress code is much different. This is a much more relaxed Obviously, less expensive, great deals at hand. Most goods in here are between 20 and 90% off. We even have goods that are 5 and $10. So this is a really great, this is a value shop. This is what this represents, a value shop. No, And what you just said, you mentioned about the names, and I'm looking around too. It's like, brother, how are you selling such great stuff so cheap if I can put in those terms? Uh, well, we're managed to get great deals. Uh, you know, unfortunately, the economic times, some stores are closing. There's a lot of operations going on where they're shutting down. So we managed to find the goods, and then we can pass those amazing uh, savings on to the consumer, which it's done phenomenal. We're very pleased with what's going on here. Plus, we have this great space. I was going to say, you got the space, and I know you mentioned about um, clothing. It's not just clothing, because I'm seeing other items here, too. Yeah, so we hooked up with another company, Upper Canada, which was part of uh, Corey's Incorporated. We brought it in. So mirrors, uh, blow dryers, a lot of uh, uh, cleansing, uh, washing things, uh, beard cleansing, all sorts of things to do with accessories for men and women, which has been very good. Uh, hair curlers, uh, hair dryers. So just the gamut from clothing to accessories so it's been phenomenal and we've done very well with the mirrors that that has been one of our best sellers believe it or not because a lot of those mirrors sell in a regular retail store for 100 150 dollars we're selling them for 25 20 even five dollars what is it like to be able to once again for you personally not just being back in business but being able to be part of the community to get again because we are so used to your last name being part of the Toronto community. Before, of course, it was Greek Town, but in a lot of ways, you've expanded. 
Yeah, so now that we've moved uh, north, because it's Corey's North Incorporated, now we're developing our community connections here, mm -hmm. which is nice. And we see an awful lot of people that actually live in the area that knew about my dad, knew about the store. And like I said, at the end of the day, Corey's Clothiers will never uh, happen again because it was my dad's. This is a new, uh, new entity for us. This is a new beginning, but we're still going to use the name Corey's. Okay, so when is like what are the times it's open during the week? The times I, I saw a sign 11 a.m. What's going on here? Right? Okay, so starting in December, we've decided it was only open four days a week, so now we're going to be open Monday through Sunday, 11 till 5 until the end of December. January, we'll see what happens. Okay, and also too, social media, where do we yeah. go to follow you? So on Instagram, you can follow us on Corey's North Incorporated, and also on Facebook, Corey's North Incorporated. What are as we're wrapping this up? What are the one thing? What's the one thing that you want to say to the fans out there who listen to your dad on radio? They listen to you on radio. You know, doing the pitches, going down to Corey's, coming here now, um, and getting such great value for their buck. What do you want to say to the folks out there who have been with you guys for so many decades? Well, the only thing I really can say is to our past and our current customers is thank you very much. Greatly appreciated for the support for Corey's Apparel and the Danforth and the new Corey's North Incorporated. Because without the customers and without the support, we don't have anything. And I really love dealing with the people in this community. And when they come in, we get to chat, we get to talk, and it's great. So one more time, the address, where is it? 3302 Dufferin Street, a little south, one block south of Yorkdale. Fantastic, my friend. Thank you so much, and congratulations. As I can say, like back in the day in the 70s in that show, welcome back. Thanks, man. I greatly appreciate it. Love you.